So, this whole thing's finally come full circle. After what, two and a half years? Yeah, the irony isn't lost on me. I just figure it's high time we separate the two of us in a, a tangible way. So that way that you have your own voice in a manner of speaking. And uh, people can tell it's me when I talk. I sincerely doubt you have a sufficient enough fan base for it to even remotely matter. But that's kind of the point of this whole thing, isn't it? The two weeks I was gone... Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I want to talk to you, them about. I know the whole anonymous question mark face thing is a bit is a bit presumptuous or whatever, but I, as in me, the guy that records and edits everything for this channel, um, I'm not showing my face. I have done it once already for a joke, but that's. I've done, I deleted that video, Giddy. I'm not doing it again. Not that I can, because no working webcam, but I wouldn't if I could. But, yeah. Um, I want to explain where I've been the past two weeks, uh, and how things are going to go from this point forward, which is why I had the opening bit of Tarashi with his quote-unquote new voice, which I've already used in the past for other things, but uh, it's whatever. I really do, did need to, to differentiate him from me a bit more. And really, using my own voice for a fictional character doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. As for the people who have been successful at YouTubing, what I mean on that. Anyway, enough of that. Let me get to the point of this video. So, in the second video I made for this channel, I got a comment from someone saying that listening to me is like listening to a close friend telling you about their day. I like the idea of that. I thought that that would be a cool premise to base a channel around. Um... And that idea kind of evolved into making my channel about being a chill place for people to relax and hang out in. But there's a problem with that. People, generally speaking, don't come to YouTube to calm down and just chill. They come to YouTube to be entertained. And that comes with its own problems in being that I'm not an entertainer. I've never been an entertainer and I have no idea, clue, or knowledge of how to be an entertainer. I've literally been winging it since day one, and <laughs> my numbers speak to how ineffective that's been. Uh, full disclosure, somebody told me recently that I have to do something crazy to get noticed to drop people on my channel. The suggestions how to do that have been garbage for reasons I won't get to hear, but yeah, I think it's... I haven't had any good ideas how to do that myself for the past two weeks, which is part of what I took a break for the past two weeks to do. The other part has been, um, IRL reasons, but I took care of that week one. Like I said, I do it. The only thing I don't really think of to ask for is advice, but all the advice I've gotten up to this point has been either been vague or hard to act on due to my lack of knowledge, or just, in some particular cases, I, again, won't speak of. Not good. At least that's what I have written down in the script I wrote down a couple days ago. Yes, yesterday I talked to somebody who's been pretty positive about my channel. And they gave me a lot better advice than what I've been getting. So I'm kind of in a better headspace for this, I guess. And yeah, to be honest, I've been a little bit lazy about asking other than yesterday. A lot of that has to do with some problems that I have. I'm not good at explaining myself on the spot. And that really makes asking for advice problematic because knowing, you know, what I've tried already to bring up while I'm asking, things like that, is rough. But yeah, um, when I thought about making this video, my first instinct was to go on and hate us for the first viewable future. Just try to educate myself and come up with better ideas or something, but I know inactivity hurts channels, so doing that wouldn't make things any better than continuing to make the same kind of content I've been making would. And look, I know my numbers are trash, and 15 view average per video is basically nothing, but, like, that's still 15 people that... Based, regularly watch most of my videos on my channel. I mean, it's making a lot of assumptions, but the bottom line is that if I were to just stop altogether, 
until I get my crap together, I'd be letting somebody down. A, a very small group of people, sure, but like... Maybe like one or two bare minimum, probably more than that, but not much. I can at least say for sure that I'd be letting at least one person down, and I'm not okay with that. I want to make this channel into a career. That's something I've always wanted since day one. And I know there are some channels that I've had work with no longer for like five years before things worked out for them. And I think that's what I have to look forward to. Though, if I'm being honest, I kind of promised myself I would wait t five years before worrying about that. But, I don't know. <laughs> it taking two years to get 100 to get the triple, triple digits in subscribers is rough. Granted, my first year was very lackluster, and my posting, my uploading schedule was all over the place. But yeah, at that point, I really kind of wonder if I can even consider my first year like valid in terms of the grind. But it's whatever. Is there a rest stop between now and the point? Anyway, starting next week, I'm gonna start recording by my regular schedule again. If you know something about this that I don't, about the platform, about making content, if you just want to talk or something, comments are down below. There's also my Discord server, I've got a Twitter, Twitter account, excuse me, some people have been following my Reddit account recently for some reason, just, yeah, hit me up. You know, if this channel got any traction whatsoever, I'd honestly recommend getting a subreddit going. I mean, I've considered... Stuff like that, like subreddit, Patreon, such, but I don't know. It doesn't feel right trying that stuff without, like, getting big enough to do ad revenue. I've also had somebody recommend, like, getting a partnership with a company, but, like, I highly doubt any company's going to want to bother with somebody with, like, triple digit subs and 15 views per, on average per video. Just, like, I don't think I'm big enough yet. But the other stuff... I don't know, maybe I'm just being stupid about that. Maybe, huh? Hey, by the way, now that I have you here, are you, do you plan on bringing Keiko back to the channel anytime soon? Actually, she's been really quiet lately, like, really quiet, more than usual. Keiko? Uh, uh, yeah, we can we can talk tomorrow. That's fine. Huh. Wonder what that was about. I guess we're gonna find out tomorrow. <laughs>Oh, um, by the way, I'm recording this on the 31st of May, so by the time you see this, it'll be Saiyan month, so... 